minimalism. It's scary. It's super scary. No, but really, uh, minimalism isn't too crazy. It's actually amazing. It's fantastic. And in this video, I'm going to show you how fantastic minimalism can be. Um, minimalism is great, fantastic. It is the way of the future. Future people will be minimalists. And I think that it can make your life a whole lot easier. It can definitely make it easier for you to travel, for you to just be focused, relaxed. It's almost like that Zen mindset. Like if you've ever been to a, a Japanese Zen garden where everything's just placed precisely where it's supposed to be. It's, but it can be really, 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 really good for you in the mind and in the spirit if you have one, if you believe in those things. But it's great, it's fantastic, because you can have less things and the things that you have that are less are nicer. I own very few things. I don't know if you've noticed, but in my past, I don't know, 100 videos, 50 videos, whatever it is, I'm basically wearing the same thing. I know it's got a lot of little particles on it. I just washed it with my socks. I washed it with these socks and they got stuff all over my shirt. So, sorry. I look a little dirty. It's clean. I swear. I just took a shower. I'm clean. I'm bathed. My clothes are clean. But I'm getting off topic and I'm trying to focus on minimalism. And I have a lot of energy today. So oftentimes when I go running, after I run, I have a lot of energy. I know what it does, make me feel great. All the endorphins and stuff pumping through my body. Back on the topic, because I'm a minimalistic traveler and I want to travel as much, as much, as much as possible. I want to have as little as possible. I want to own very few things. Like if you've seen my other videos, I have two of these shirts. I have one of these shirts. I have this jacket. I have actually a few extra things here. I have more, I have everything I could fit in my backpack currently but half of that stuff I'm getting rid of because it's just better. It's better, better, better to be a minimalist, I think, personally, because the less things you have, the more time you have, and the more things you have, the more things own you. I know sometimes some people out there, and I have plenty of friends and people that I know, who they do need a lot more stuff. So if they have a business and um, or they have a big house or you know, they want all this stuff because they you know, have many kids or they need all these different things to make their existence work. That's fine. That's totally cool. Minimalism, minimalism is not for everybody. But for me, in my time of life, it works out better. And for you, it might work out better too because you might be depressed and you might feel like, oh, I have all this stuff. I have this great job, I have this cool place I'm living, but I am depressed, I'm going to do something else. And you might not have a family, or maybe you do have family. Maybe you guys want to travel, maybe by yourself, maybe you're just a high school student, or a college student, or who knows, and you want to go traveling. For me, a big component to why I want to be a minimalist and continue to be a minimalist is because it makes it easier for me to travel. I know I've said that a few times, but for me, the less I have, the easier it is to travel, the cheaper it is to travel. I mean, just having a carry-on saved me sometimes $40, $50 every time I go on a flight because you don't have to pay for a baggage to go underneath the plane. Um, but I digress. It is a way of life. It is not easy. It's not, it can be very freeing. For me, it is super freeing because um, I don't have to worry about as much stuff. Actually, right now I have too much stuff. I need to go through my backpack and get rid of all the extra stuff that I don't need, like extra little wires and little knickknacks and this and that. And uh, I currently have two pairs of sandals and two shoes. And so I'm getting rid of you know a lot of that extra stuff. Um, I have running shoes and sandals, but I'm getting rid of the running shoes and I'm only gonna be using my sandals. And for the past few days, I've been running in these barefoot sandals. Um, which are great actually for running. Um, I've actually made a video on them. If you look through my some other stuff, I'll put it in the description box below. You can check out that that video as well. But um, it's just a great 
phenomenal way to live in my opinion even if you have a house like right now i live in an apartment and i have you know i have stuff you know i have um, the apartment luckily came with like a bed and different things so when i leave here i don't have to worry about getting rid of all this stuff but it is just simpler the less stuff you have the simpler your life is um i mean if you're especially traveling on the road like everywhere you go, you're going to be provided with stuff. So if you go to a hostel or hotel, you're going to be provided a bed, you're going to be provided, you know, a place to have water, maybe some dishes or different things you can use. And it's just, I don't know, just like what I'm basically trying to get at is it frees up your mind to be able to do more, to be more relaxed, to be able to focus on different things. Uh, the more stuff you have, the more of your focus and the more of your time your things have. Say you have a hundred cars and you're taking care of them all by yourself. Um, one, you could hire somebody to take care of the cars and that would, that would take some of your resources. And two, it's like, are you really driving all of those cars? Do you really enjoy all those cars? Maybe you do and that's your thing, totally cool. But if I had a hundred cars and they're all these really nice cars, I would want to maintain all those cars. I personally, like, if I have a vehicle, I like to work on it. I like to, you know, change things about it, um, clean it out. It just there's a lot of stuff and, and time and energy that I put into, you know, the things that I own and things that I take care of. And when I have a vehicle, it partially owns me. It owns some of my time, it owns some of my money. It takes insurance, gas, maintenance, different things to keep up the vehicle. And it's just, for me, it doesn't make any sense when our lives are so short you know, there's so much out there to do. There's so many places to go, people to meet, um, things to try out, ideas to learn, and just there's so much out there to do and whatnot. And it's, I just feel like it's, at least for me, it's not for everybody. You know, some people like to be in their bed and just read and chill and watch Netflix and do that all day and go to work and do the same thing and maybe come home, find someone to date. We have family, do all that. That's totally cool. I mean, I'm not saying I'm not gonna do some of those things too one day, but I do prefer to um, be adventurous and go on journeys and explore. And if you wanna be like that, I would highly recommend being a minimalist because I've moved probably 10 times in the past, I don't know, five years, six years or something. And because of that, I have, uh, yeah, probably seven, eight, eight years, eight years or so, I've moved many, many times. Um, many, many times because of work and different things. And as I acquired more and more stuff, it became more and more expensive to move. And now that I want to be a nomadic individual and constantly on the road, I, 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 I don't feel like I'm saying I too much. I wanna see what you guys have to say. If you guys have anything to say about this, um, put it in the comments. If you guys have any questions on this, put it in the comments. Um, I really, really, really want to get you guys' opinions on different videos and stuff I could be making, especially when it comes to, if you want to hear more in-depth topics on minimalism or traveling or whatever it is, um, just let me know. Just let me know in the comment box down below. Anyway, um, yes, that is, this is me. This is my new energy. I'm trying to be more energetic. Hopefully you guys like it. Um, but, 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 back on to topic. I am a minimalist and you can be a minimalist too you don't have to be a minimalist and you can just watch this video and think about how crazy i am or how awesome i am whatever you think about me i don't really care i mean i hope it's the better ones the worse ones but whatever it is um hopefully uh this video helped you guys out to kind of understand a little bit more on minimalism and how it can be great how it can benefit your life um, and how, 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 how it, it can serve a bigger purpose for me. Or just, it's an idea you can think about. And maybe you can, you know, get rid of a few things or get more things, you know, it just doesn't matter. Just do you, you guys do you. All right, this has been NST, Never Stop Traveling. Check out my other videos. If you like this video, if it's been useful, subscribe, give it a thumbs up and peace out.